Hi there, Diesel Johnny Boy here. Um, something a little bit different from engines and round pumps. Um, clocks. Um, this is a reproduction of a probably something like a 14th century clock. These were the very early clocks. They only had a a single hand, the hour hand. You can just see there. I'm trying to the torch on it. Just a single hand. Now these early clocks first appeared towards the end of the 13th century, so the 1280s, 1290s. Now the way these work, if you imagine you are on a well where you wind the bucket up to, you drop the bucket in the water and you wind it back up again, but if that bucket full of water, you let go of the winding gear, the bucket would just whiz back down to the water. Now obviously some clever person was winding a bucket up maybe and then he realised that the bucket of water had power in it and that, as that descended it would rotate the wind less. Now if you could control that wind you could release power slowly and this is what they call the verge and folio clock mechanism, the escapement mechanism. Now this basically is very simple you have a cog here, I'm sure it's a bit dark, I'm trying to show you, there's a cog here. There's a series of cogs with a weight, this is weight driven, so imagine this is your bucket on your well. You see the weight hanging there with a rope. Now the rope is wound around an, uh, like a pulley with a cog on it, which drives a few other cogs, but to that weight, to prevent that weight just fall, free falling, we have what we call an escape mechanism up here. Now there's like, this is what you call the folio, this rod, this like this bar up here, which is rotating backwards and forwards as you can see. That's got like the, the verge, which is the vertical bar in there, you can just about see it, which has a couple of little metal paddly things on it. Then there's a big cog, well like a wheel with like, like little nails coming out, but they're just without the head on them. And as the rope pulls on it, the verge lets one cog click out at a time, but it controls it and it stops it free falling. So it's, it's releasing the power in a controlled way, which is then transmitted onto a series of cogs that have, they've worked out the ratio, which then eventually rotates the front hand, which is just like I said, just an hour hand. <clears throat> and that is what you call the verge and folio escapement. Now that was in use for four or five hundred years, right up to the sort of 18th century. Now one of the oldest ones you'll find still working is in Salisbury Cathedral. And if you go to Salisbury Cathedral you can actually see the old verge and folio escapement clock that they've got up there. It still works and they have it running every now and again. But to control the speed, there's these weights on it, like these are little lead weights that are hanging off the folio bar. Now these can be altered, so you can alter the, the, the speed that the cogs turn. So it takes a bit of time to work out. So obviously the further out these cogs are, um, these weights are, if I put that one there, and the other one right on the far end. It will give it a bit. It, whoops. There it slows. It's much slower. See? There you are. See, it takes a bit of time to work out and to sort of get your clock working. These weren't the most accurate of clocks, but they were pretty good. So if we go, that's going very slow. Though. So we put that in. A bit further in, there we are, let's all speed the movement up, release mechanism will go quicker. There we are. So that goes a bit more easy. And obviously the, as the weight descends, it's 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 working the mechanism. And obviously obviously when it's put it, you can pull it back up when it's gone all the way down. Clicks back up into place. And it, depending on how long your rope is now, you know, that the length of the rope will dictate how long the clock will run. So yeah, some of these big old ones in the cathedrals, they'd be running for over a week. 
and then you'd have to wind it right up and then it would go for a week. This, little, this is just like a little model. I got this on eBay for 20 quid. It actually was broken when I got it. As you can see, someone's dropped it. It's got a bit of a chunk missing out there, which I'm going to have to repair. But other than that, you know, it's a very simple system, very simple and effective. Just let you see it again. See it working. It's just quite amazing, really. This one's all made of all wood. But obviously, the early ones were often made by a blacksmith to a design and they're often all iron so a lot of them are just rusted away but like I say there are a few around there's one in France, a very old one but I think the Salisbury Cathedral one is, is recognised to be one of the oldest ones in the world there it's just ticking away right, see the little escapement mechanism working there like I say, there's quite a few different escapements nowadays. Um, grasshopper escapements. I mean, I'm no clock expert, so if any other of you horologist guys out there got a bit more info, then great. Post on my on the replies. But I just thought, you know, for my subscribers out there, it's it's an interesting little bit of um, engineering. Very clever. I think it's great myself. Just ticks away there. There we go. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, make any comments. If anyone's got one as well, then you know, get it up on there because it's really interesting. Diesel Johnny Boy saying good night to you then, and uh, catch up with you later. Bye.